Hello YouTube reseller mom here. Welcome to today's video. Today we're going to talk about prepping for Q4 and the things that I've been doing. Just all the things that I'm prepping and getting ready for Q4. So let's start off with packing materials. First one up that I think is most, 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 most important for Q4 prepping materials, if you're going to do a lot of FBMing, is the free UPS supplies. You can get a small or medium box. They are under shipping supplies. At the very bottom, they're called like secure boxes or something, but if you read the description, it clearly states that they are plain, plain boxes and you can order them. Now, somebody recently commented that they didn't see them as an availability option until they had ordered the free labels, the two, the two sticker, I'll show those next, but uh, the stickers that you can get for free. So let me show you those. These are called shipping labels and you can get 50 at a time at UPS. If you need more than 50, you can call. They say UPS shipping for UPS shipping only. I may or may not have cut that off before <laughs> in a pinch, but uh, don't tell UPS that. So you can order these for free. I also recommend having these as backup in case if your regular uh, sh printer for shipping labels goes down. I have a Dymo that just has shipping labels, so I don't use these very much. But if that went down, I could easily stick that in my printer and print off FBA labels. And for me, I like those better than trying to tape labels on the box. I hate taping labels on the box. Okay. So first item, go get yourself a case of these. They come in a case of 50, I think. I can zoom in on the number, but it's, I've shown it many a times. I got the number down there too, just so that I could easily look it up. Okay. Next up, regular boxes. I have a ton of regular boxes. We've got 884s, I've got 666s, I've got eBay boxes up there, and then I have a notepad that has common boxes and what they're used to pack for. Because we have a lot of things that we pack a lot, all the time, and so they're, we just we use them more frequently. Like, 8 by 6 by 4 is probably my most used box. Next up, 1296. I do not in Q4 want to run out of 1296s or 864s. They are very, very, very much used. Same with a uh, twelve, twelve, six is another good one to have for those large toys. I was sending out large remote control cars and stuff in them. Over there, I've got eight five fours. I have more. Oh, over there. <laughs> Point my finger. I have eight five fours on order. Eight five fours are important because they fit in a flat rate poly mailer. Uh, the bubble padded flat padded. Oh my goodness, padded bubble mailer. There we go. Okay, uh, what else? The rest of these boxes, some I got as like a good deal. Some I absolutely love. The large 12, um, this one. See how I write on the outside and then my sticker? I don't have elaborate label systems. Get organized and label it. It does not have to be picture perfect. I wanted to put on here that this is the not flat, <laughs> flat rate large boxes. And they are a 12 by 11 by 8. So those will be great as well for Q4. I do love these ones. This is called a 1092 and it is 12 by 13 by 2.75. So great for games and puzzles. Up here I've got flat rates all lined up ready to go. This is another one I use. This is a 12 by 15 by 3, a 1095, 1097, shoebox, and 776. 776 and Shoebox are probably my top two favorite. You can see <laughs> I got quite a few and I got quite a few. You want to get these labeled or not labeled, ordered now because the post backs up during Q4. This area kind of looks like a hot mess, but that's okay. I've got padded flat rates up there. I've got three boxes the box says it comes in a hundred, but I know I've dipped into one or two of the boxes. So I probably have 200 or less up there altogether. I could probably condense them down, but you know, when I moved into here, I just stuck them up there and it seemed to be a good spot. All my cases of poly mailers and poly bags are down here. Poly mailers are the white ones. I use a lot of nine by 12. I'll use 24 by 24, 14 by 20, 
for big squishmallows, any any large, large stuffed squishy thing, I can squish down into the 24 by 24 or the 12, 14 by 20 mailer and put it out. Either UPS Ground or FedEx are the cheapest, will be the cheapest, but you want to have some different different options. I also have 12 by 15 white, 9 by 6 by 9 white, and I believe 11 by 14 white is somewhere in there. Tissue paper. In fact, I got to order some more because I don't have much. I ordered a small pack. Tissue paper comes in handy as stuffing for, you know, just filling up boxes and whatnot. It's it's the cheapest, cheapest way to go that route. This was my upgrade to the office. Every year I try to do some sort of upgrade to the office. This was one year I bought this nifty little poly bag holder and it's been amazing. I love it. They're, you know, it's not like industrial, but it is really good. And I do like it more than the plastic shelving, you know, the all plastic shelving with the drawers. I do like it better than that. And that was my previous one. So I've got everything in here. I've got shrink wrap and then all of my bags laid out. And when we pull the last, like I just refilled up the nine, six by nine this morning. And there's one more Bag, you know, thing of 100 in my case pack. And when we pull the last one, I'll go ahead and reorder the box to, to get back on the shelf. I have got extra office supplies in the top there, markers, post-its, etc. But the, the main things here, I've got FBA shipping labels, 2-inch tape, 3-inch tape. Those are Funko Pop holders in there. If you ever buy Funko Pops for Amazon, you really want to put them in a plastic container to resell them. And I don't do a whole lot because, I don't know, I just haven't found a whole lot to sell these recently. And I haven't gone outsourcing for them. Then I've got FBA labels all stacked up. I've got warning labels. This is a sets labels. And I've got just kind of random things at the bottom there. We've got some of the wafers, the clear wafers when you're buying, say, puzzles or something or games. You know, have you have the clear seal on there. Sometimes those are messed up garbage or whatever. So I've got wafers down there, some blue tape for my labeling, just any other thing that didn't, um, didn't line up with the other supplies is down on that shelf. Time for some other things. I mean, obviously poly bags and mailers and such is, is like a no brainer. You guys are probably well aware of that, but let's go over some other things that maybe are not so, you know, in your face this time of year when you're catching up on what should you stock up for Q4. Pumpkin spice creamer, coffee, 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 caffeine. Whatever your caffeine fix is, start stocking up. What goes with caffeine? Chocolate, candy, sugar, anything like that. A little pick-me-up. Sometimes in the afternoon, I need a pick-me-up. Sometimes it's late at night and I need a pick-me-up. Sometimes my workers need a little extra caffeine or sugar. And then, of course, there are people that drop by, whether they are friends, helpers, post. UPS, FedEx, whatever, sometimes they need something too. So it's always nice to have a little bit of candy out so that they can have a little bit of sweetness. Cleaning supplies. Let me tell you, I have usually during Q4, I will throw this entire thing in the back of my car. They're giant trash bags, 33 gallons. When you go shopping and do retail arbitrage, you will sometimes buy so much that you need a big old trash bag to put it in there, or you're going to be having like 50 different little tiny bags. So I always have that, and then I will probably put a roll of these guys in my purse as well, just so I have bags. The times that have places have been out of bags, or like the bags are just garbage or whatnot, and then I have my own bags, they are so happy. I put one of these guys in there, and I'll put one of the giant tra contractor bags in the in the car as well during shopping. So stock up now. They're also good for the office. I got this. This is like, they smell good. And I think I got like a gajillion rolls. What did I get? 330 and it was, I think $15 or something. So we've been having fun. We're using yellow and purple in the office right now, but they will be for Q4 as well. And then any other cleaning supply you need, it's good to get stocked up on that right now because whew, you want to work in a clean environment. I always have some little welcome area and I'm um, I'm thinking almost of taking this to the back because I get more deliveries in the back than I do in the front. But in my home, at, at home, this would be kind of in a central area. I've got my DOG, oh, my dog's not here. So I don't, usually we have to spell it out, T-R-E-A-T-S's. So I do have a little dog in the neighborhood that, in the neighborhood, a couple doors down that visits. Post-its if you need to leave messages or something. We'll light candles, especially if you're working here late at night. Just something to make it smell good. 
again, candy out for people and hand sanitizer is really big during COVID times. Drugs. You don't want to have your shopping cut short or your employees go home because they don't feel good. So I've got Tums, I've got acetaminophen, I've got Aleve, I've got Advil, I've got sinus. <laughs> one of, me and one, one of the other ladies here. We have terrible sinuses and allergies, so sometimes you just need, need that extra stuff. I've got Band-Aids and gauze in case if you get a paper cut or, I don't know, we've we've had some some interesting injuries nothing big nothing big but you want to have a little care care drawer whether this is in a bag or in your under the sink or wherever have the basic supplies so that you can keep on running I have um, you know almost quit shopping many a times because I was hungry tired or had a headache and you know I keep all those things on hand either at the office or in my purse. I have Advil in my purse too and, and basic things so that I don't get my shopping trip cut short. And I've, I've cut myself. I should probably throw some Band-Aids in there too. I have cut myself out doing uh, retail arbitrage before and then you get blood everywhere and it's like, oh, I can't, you know, you don't want to get blood on your product and sometimes the places will have Band-Aids, sometimes they won't. Most of the time they will. They'll, they'll give you a Band-Aid if you need one. And then uh, COVID tests are always good to have so that you make sure you're not contaminating other people out there if you are not feeling good. I would hate to go on quarantine during Q4, but, uh, you know, if you have to, you have to. Stock up on your basic necessities. Toilet paper, paper towels at home. We have extra dog food, paper towels, Tide Pods. I mean, whatever, whatever your household normally needs and uses. I do a lot of auto ship, uh, auto order etc and i buy in case packs so that you save a little bit money and then it's auto ordered so you don't have to last minute run out and get those types of supplies we just stocked up last night we went to uh, winco and we got sugar and flour because i know we're going to either be doing some baking and or my daughter will do some baking and so good time to grab that flour and that sugar going into q4 some of the other things that i do that that if it's your first Q4, maybe you're not quite thinking about is we will do Christmas gift purchasing ahead of time or when it's convenient for us. That's not during my shopping time because I want to be out shopping and or we will have designated days that I take a day off shopping and I get some family stuff done. We will decorate early. This was huge. I started doing this not too long ago and it was a game changer because the last thing you want is to have to decorate and do all of the fun ha holiday stuff but you're stressed out because you're trying to get merchant fulfilled orders done so we will do the christmas decorations within the first two weeks of november which is a little early but that's okay nobody's coming over and judging me i don't care and get that done and then when we when i get done with black friday shopping because we used to do it the weekend after black friday shopping i'm not stressed out because the house is already done and decorated Along those lines, now, between now, we'll just say September, October, are my months to do fall cleaning. I don't want to entertain during Christmas and have my house be a hot mess. Not saying that it's not a hot mess anyways, but I want to get some certain things cleaned. On that list of cleaning are drapes. I got some of my drapes washed last night. Get them hung up. It's nice and uh, we've got great weather for drying things like that. The rugs, if the rugs need washing. Uh, any of those organizing projects. I cleaned my closet this weekend for my clothes, got rid of a bunch of clothes. That was one of those projects that I wanted to get done before Q4 because my closet was just a mess. I couldn't, you know, I just had junk that I wasn't using and I needed the space and I needed the efficiency to get in, get dressed and move on with my day. So that was just on my list. What else? I'm going to get the frid refrigerator cleaned out because I don't know about you, but holiday cooking and whatnot, you use all your fridge space and you want it nice and clean for holiday times for cooking. There was something else I was going to say. Drapes. Oh, the screens on my windows are disgusting. <laughs> screens and vents and fans have just got a dust build up and those are on my cleaning list. So I'm going to get a little bit done every day kind of after work and on the weekend get my drapes clean, get get all those things that that need to be cleaned that are like a once a year, twice a year type of thing done that will make it just that easier during Q4. Because really during Q4, I want to do two things. I want to shop and sell stuff, and I want to enjoy the holidays with my family. So in order to enjoy the 
holidays with my family. I don't want to sit there and keep thinking, oh my gosh, this place is disgusting. My house needs to be cleaned. Or, you know, when you're setting up the Christmas tree and you move things around or you're decorating and you move things around, you find all those dust bunnies that were hidden in the corners. I want to get those all taken care of so that I can relax and enjoy my Q4. I will shop and be 110% uh, <laughs> the term that came into mind was not appropriate for YouTube. That's where that pause was. But uh, I will be 110% and then right around December 21st-ish, 20th, 21st, wherever that weekend falls, I will cut it off from Merchant Fulfilling, shut her down, take about three days, four days off, whatever makes sense, and enjoy the holidays so that I can have the best of both worlds. All right. Let me see here. If anything else comes to mind, I will add it to this video. Last part here is systems, setting up systems to help you out either in your personal life or at work. For my personal life, things like that I've set up systems for is bill payment, auto ship, my dog food's on auto ship, my Tide Pods are on auto ship, my toilet paper and, and uh, paper towels so that way I don't have to remember those big things or have them run out when it's not a good time. At work the systems that I've been setting up is processing my returns because you get returns coming in and having just a good way to set that up so that it's not time not time consuming. Getting my orders for all of my supplies and that regulated. You saw how I have everything now labeled and a spot for everything and I have boxes. I can easily see which boxes that I need to order. That's my system. I want to make sure I have all the supplies that I want going into Q4. I know I need to order tissue paper and 854 boxes and that's what's on my list. And then I do my ordering on Friday. So on Friday, I will get those things ordered and in here and it's just set up so that I know what I have and what I need to do really easy peasy. On the computer, I have set up for production wise, production numbers, forecasting, been working on my expense Excel sheet. And now I kind of have a system where on Thursdays I sit down, I know what my goals are, I know what my expenses were, I know what I need to spend money on. And so Friday when I order those supplies that I just talked about, the tissue paper and the boxes, I know how much money I have to spend and how to allocate that money. And so having that system up and going has been really good and, and worth the work, worth the work. Do the work now, it'll save you later. Going into Q4, I need to know exactly how much money I want and can spend. That's gonna be huge is, is how much money can you spend? Because really Q4 comes down to time and money. We're gonna have so many bolos. I mean, we've already started in the bolo group, sharing some bolos with you guys and, and what we're purchasing and whatnot. So. Uh, it's going to come down to how much time do you got, how much money do you have, and supplies. I have ran out of the right boxes or packing materials in the past, and then you're eating into your margins. And some of those items don't have super huge margins that if you add two or three dollars to it in either shipping expenses or boxes, let's say uh, you don't have the right size box and now your shipping is going to be three dollars more, that eats right into your profit. <coughs> so, any of those systems, getting them up and going and ready. Look, when, when you wanna know like which ones to look at, look at what you're spending your time on. What do you spend your time doing? And where could you save money and or time? By ordering boxes ahead of time, I'm going to save on shipping later because I'm getting the good deal on boxes now. I'm getting the UPS free supplies now. I'm getting, you know, everything in order so I can maximize my shipping money spent in the Q4 time. I have set up my pirate ship so I can do my auto pickups. I have set up the UPS, USPS on the phone so I can do auto setups. I will go and schedule those auto pickups for the post during all my merchant fulfilling times. I will set it up probably from the 1st of December to the 20th December, if not a little bit more on either side. You set up those auto pickups and then you don't have to worry about going to the post office. You just automatically have the post come to you. One less thing for you to do. All right, guys, think about your systems. Think about what is plaguing you, what you need to do, where your defaults, defaults, where you're, where you're spending your time and your money. Can it be solved by a system of some sort? Can it be solved by a software? Can it be solved by something out there to really free up your time to do more money-making activities? All right, guys, take care. Have a great day.